And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about Jesus' prophecy of his return to earth someday and the judgments of God during the tribulation period. Someone might ask, if the Lord is coming very soon, what should I do to prepare myself for that day? All that the Lord was telling his disciples was not intended to just satisfy their curiosity, but was intended to help them live righteously before God. Prophecy should lead us to fear God's coming judgment and serve him well. That is why Jesus talked about the faithful servant who was busy looking after his master's things while he awaits the return of his master. When Jesus spoke to his disciples about his return, he knew that they would no longer be around to experience much of these things, but he still told them so that they might learn to live with a constant expectation that their master may come at any moment. There was a partial fulfillment of God's judgment when the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and the temple in A.D. 70. But this prophecy of Jesus reaches well beyond the events of the destruction of one city by the Romans 1900 years ago. Jesus' prophecy talks about all nations coming under God's wrath and judgment. We know that the Lord may be coming very soon, for many of the signs of which he spoke of in this prophecy are now taking place. For instance, since Israel became a sovereign nation in 1948, they have faced several wars, and the enemies of Israel continue to hate and seek their destruction. The increase in large catastrophic events like earthquakes and floods are happening increasingly as well as the spread of disease and famine as the world's population rapidly increases. All these should tell us that the Lord's coming is at hand and we should expect him at any time. But most of the world will be taken by surprise and be swept away in God's wrath and judgment. The most important thing a person can do to prepare for his coming is to make sure they have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior. Apart from the salvation that comes through Jesus Christ, the day of the Lord will be a very terrible time to face. Those who know the Lord shall escape God's wrath and be taken away in the rapture. So the first and most important way to prepare is to accept the Lord as your Savior. Then you will be ready and taken out of the world before God sends down his wrath on the ungodly. Christians can prepare for the coming of the Lord by preaching the gospel to the lost souls they come in contact with and serving the Lord in the church. Jesus left his people with work to do, and we should not be lazy about doing his business. Some call themselves Christians and refer to Jesus as their Lord, but really they act as though he was just a distant friend they visit once in a while. Most of the time they are ruling over their own lives and doing whatever they want to do, building up their own little kingdom on earth. To be a follower of Jesus is to do what he says and fulfill his purposes in serving in his church. When the Lord comes, what will you be doing? Will you be busy looking after yourself and your future here on earth? Or will you be investing into the kingdom of God? It would be a terrible thing for the Lord to come and find you caught in some sin. Some say they love God and show up on Sunday to worship the Lord and yet live in their sins day by day. If we know the Lord, who is holy and righteous, is coming very soon, then we shall hate to be caught in our own sin. The coming of the Lord should cause us not only to keep busy serving in his kingdom, but also living a life that is holy and pleasing to the Lord. Then we shall be well prepared to meet him. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Matthew chapter 24 verse 44